In this video, I'd like to walk through the process of editing an infrared photo in Lightroom with a particular focus on the color calibration settings. Now, sometimes uh, when I'm editing a photo, you know, with infrared, you typically will uh, maybe start in Lightroom, uh, get your white balance set, head over to Photoshop to do a channel swap, and then come back to Lightroom. Sometimes I want to see what kind of creativity I can get without having to make that uh, round trip, and what can I just get out of Lightroom. And color calibration is a great way to do that. So let's dive in and look at what we can get from color calibration. So before I get started uh, with that, I want to uh, get my profile set and white balance. So I'm going to go into the profile picker, uh, select a custom profile that I've created. Uh, I've got a separate video that, that demonstrates how to create a custom profile for your camera uh, that I'll link to. Then uh, we've got to get a... Uh, our white balance set. This one's a little tricky. Don't have the quite uh, uh, any clouds or anything white to focus on. So pick something with the picker and then kind of play around with the colors a bit. But I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so now let's talk about uh, color calibration. So the color calibrations are down here in the uh, the develop panel, and this is where. Um, you can you can have some control over the the primary colors, um, the, the RGB hue and saturation, and by adjusting the hue uh, here, you can get some pretty dramatic effects in um, in both directions. But of course, we've got lots of controls because we can do this with uh, all three of these different sliders, uh, which can give us a whole variety of colors to pick from. Playing with the blue, you can see we get some interesting colors there as well. So quite a variety. So one of the things that I've done is I created a number of presets in Lightroom. And these are really simple presets that the only thing that these presets do is adjust the uh, calibration settings. So let's walk through these. So I have the f this first one is black and white. And if you look over in the calibration panel, you'll see that this dropped the saturation of the red to negative 100, dropped the saturation of the green to negative 100, and dropped the saturation of the blue to negative 50. Um, and that gets us a, a monochrome image just using calibration. So yet another way to, uh, to get a black and white image. If I select the option I've labeled, labeled blue, sky, uh, blue foliage yellow sky, you can see that that is a hue of plus 100, uh, close to the final look that we're going to go for in this image. Cyan foliage and orange sky is a combination of uh, plus 100 on the red hue and minus 100 on the blue hue. And then I've got a cyan foliage and red sky, which is just adjusting the blue hue. Green foliage and magenta sky, uh, negative 100 on both the red and blue hue. Uh, mint foliage and red sky. Adjusting the red hue, purple foliage and yellow sky. This one's pretty interesting, uh, pretty pretty dramatic difference. Just adjusting the blue hue. Uh, a second alternative to that by uh, pumping up the uh, the red hue as well, a little more vibrant purples, and then a white foliage uh, yellow sky option. So it looks a little purple in this image actually. So. These are just some quick presets that I made. Again, the only thing they do is adjust these calibrations. And this is just a quick way for me to uh, look at an image and, and make these, hit all of these, or just even roll my cursor over these adjustments and see if any of these are interesting. So a great way to give me some color choices uh, for a particular image. So in this case, I'm going to go with that um, uh, blue foliage yellow sky because that's the look that I like. Um, and so now let's go about uh, processing the rest of the image. Um, not, not much else I'm going to do in this one, actually. Uh, let's see. We'll go to my basic settings. And I like things here. Now, normally in an image, I, I would add a lot of contrast and, you know, up the clarity, the tone curve, and all that kind of stuff. But I, I actually kind of like the contrast that exists in this image. With clarity... If, if I take the, the value up, I'm going to increase the contrast, and it's really going to bring out the detail, especially in uh, uh, this grass in the foreground. But I'm less interested in that in this image. And if I go to a negative value, 
I get uh, more of a haze effect, which I think is more actually more interesting for this particular image. So I'm going to make that adjustment. Um, and I'm going to pump up the colors just a little bit using vibrance. Maybe a little bit of saturation. Okay, great. All right, so that's looking really good. Now, really, the only other change I want to make is this little distraction here that's in the left side of the screen. Now, I could crop this out um, and, and reduce the image, but I, I actually like the, um, the framing of the shot as is. So what I want to do instead is use the uh, spot removal tool. And we'll get that to be a little bit bigger here so I can kind of cover this area. Move that and it'll pick up something nearby which is very close and there we go, uh, removed. All right, so let's go back out and that's pretty much it. So um, yet another way to um, process infrared photos in Lightroom, in this case in Lightroom only, uh, using the, uh, the calibration settings. Um, so just another great tool that you can use to add creativity and explore the color choices you have uh, when editing infrared photos. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.